I'm going to install Python, NumPy, SciPy, and Matplotlib. The first thing I'll do is go to uh, python.org. If you want the e an easier way to do this um, with the Python notebook, then maybe go to Anaconda package. Um, I'm going to come here to downloads. You have the choice of uh, Python 3.5 or 2.7. For Windows, I'm actually going to do an, uh, just one release prior. Some of the packages like SciPy are only compatible right now with Python 3.4. Um, but you know this will change as things go along. Sometimes you always want to do the release right before. Okay, uh, you can either do the 64 or 32-bit. I'm just going to do the 32-bit even though I have a 64-bit uh, computer again for compatibility. Sometimes 32-bit has more compatibility. Okay, so I've got Python 3.4. It's going to install it to this default path. Um, if you had a, pi a previous installation, then it'll ask you if you want to overwrite. Just click yes. Okay. It's going to ask for administrative privileges, and then it will um, start copying the files over. Okay, so once it starts copying over, you'll see some uh, different screens pop up as it installs services and other things like pip. Um, and we'll be using pip uh, to install some of our modules in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this and then uh, go ahead and start it. Well, actually, I didn't even need to pause it. Okay, so it finished uh, there. And then what I want to do now is go ahead and uh, visit that folder where it just um, installed it. Okay, so I'm going to go to my PC, C drive, and then this Python 3.4. And then if you come into the scripts, um, there you'll see the pip application. I'm just going to create a new uh, command prompt here. I'm going to create a new text document, and I'm just going to call this local.bat. Uh, okay, and then uh, right-click it and edit, and I'll put CMD there. Um, just to get, create a new command prompt. Okay, so this is one way just to get a new uh, command prompt. There are other ways to do that as well. Next, I want to do pip install, and then do numpy. Okay, so pip is an application that will... Um, help you manage your packages and uh, there it says that uh, NumPy will install you can see it downloading from that terminal and then it says it is successfully installed okay so the next thing I want to do is go ahead and do SciPy now okay so um, sometimes this works sometimes it doesn't I'm not quite sure if this is going to work in SciPy if it doesn't work I'll show you a way that you can install it um, from the uh, you know some downloads an executable that you can run on your computer but let's just see if this one okay so this is kind of typical didn't install um, SciPy so let's go to the web and uh, go ahead and just download it from the web okay so I'm gonna do Python SciPy download I'll show you the link um, where you can go for that okay so you have uh, source for forge here that's uh, the one where we want to go. Um, you know, they're going to have the repository here. And then you come to uh, Files. OK. And then just go ahead and select SciPy. And then, uh, OK, it'll open it up. And then you can see the latest. One of the nice things about this is you can see that, like, the downloads per week. You can see which ones are the most popular. I'm just going to select the latest uh, version. You want to avoid, like, the B. To B1, those kind of things, those are kind of developmental versions. It's kind of hard to see these executables here, but you want to get the one that corresponds to the right version that you have. So you see here, you have a Python 3.3, a Python 3.4, and then a Python 2.7. So that's why we had to choose the Python 3.4 instead of the Python 3.5. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just get this one. It's going to wait. Uh, to download this and then you'll see this uh, executable start in just a little bit and um, okay so it's going to download it um, and it'll be about a minute uh, till it's ready okay so it's finished downloading um, what I'll do now is come here and uh, select run okay and then it will start installing um, this and I'll see that uh, found that in the registry. Okay, Python 3.4, and then it is uh, running, and it's going to install uh, SciPy. So pip didn't work uh, for Windows, at least for this version. Um, you know, I, I 
sometimes I have it work, sometimes I don't, depending on the version. Um, but this is one way to just get it if uh, it didn't work for the download. Okay, so uh, it's completed. Go ahead and close that. Go ahead and close this window as well. Let's come back here and just try to do um, pip install mat plot lib. Okay, that's good. what you're going to need for plotting. And um, let's try this one. And we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, we'll go download it um, as a package. So it's installing some of these dependencies as well. As you'll see, date util. Um, it had to go get pi parsing. Um, I had to go get Cycler as well, and then Six. Six is a compatibility package. Okay, so that installed successfully. Okay, so we have now we have NumPy, SciPy, and Matplotlib and Python installed. Um, the next thing that I think is is valuable to do is just go ahead and open this up. Uh, go ahead and start Python. Okay, so you can start, um, you know, you can start the IDLE, or you can start the command line. Okay, either one, and then you can do something like print um, hello world. Okay, and uh, or if you want to, you can type in Python here, and then you can you know come up with the IDLE interface, and then print um, hello world. Okay, so either one. Um, will work. You can also run scripts, for example. If I want to create a new script, I can do new. I'll just go text document there and then create uh, you know, my script.py. Just change the extension there from .txt to .py. And then if you right click this and then edit it with IDLE, it'll come up with this. You can do print hello world. Okay, and um, save it, and then if you, actually I should have just run it right from that. Okay, and then you can hit F5 or run module. So that's another way, yeah, another way to run your Python scripts. Okay, I want to show you um, the uh, Anaconda download as well. Anaconda um, Python, okay, you can go ahead and download that. This is a nice... Uh, one because it has all of the packages included. Um, I always like to install um, the Python version, you know, the, the python.org version first, um, just so there's no conflicts. I'm going to go ahead and choose, in this case, a 64 bit. Um, and um, then let this download, and then we'll install it, and then see how the IPython notebook works as well. Okay, so um, I'll just go ahead and pause this. Okay, so Anaconda finished downloading. I'll go ahead and just run it um, by clicking the Run button there, and um, then it'll bring up this dialog here. I'll go ahead and close this out and this one. Okay, so this is our setup wizard, and then just click I agree. I like to do it for all users. Okay and uh, it's going to ask you for admin privileges. Um, I'm just going to select the default, um, add it to the path. Uh, you know, you can unselect this if you don't want, you know, you have these other ones installed as well, and you want to be able to choose which Python um, to use. Um, I'll go ahead and just click install. Now, um, it's going to go ahead and install. It'll take a little bit to work through all the packages, um, but then once it's done, it should be ready to go. Okay, so it's almost done installing, and uh, you can see you know, the progress as it goes through these. It's going to just start some services. There's going to be a lot of these black screens just pop up, and then it's going to say completed, and then um, then click finish. Okay, so now you can go to start and then uh, start up the Jupyter Notebook. So that's a popular way to um, you know, run Python, especially in development, instructional. You can, um, and then you have your tree here. Uh, if you want to use a different browser, you can just copy this address over to, let's say you want to go into Firefox instead. Just go ahead and copy that into Firefox and then you can uh, run things through here. I want to have my desktop and create a new Python 3 uh, notebook. I can do print 
hello world. Okay, and then uh, control enter to run that. Okay, you can insert uh, new cells. Okay, and then have additional commands. So that's the IPython notebook. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this page, close these browsers. If you're running this, um, you know, don't close this black uh, command window here. You're gonna need that um, because it'll run the commands that you execute through your web browser. Okay, so um, I wanna show you just one other way to run it as well. Um, you can also do, uh, oops, I misspelled that, spider. Okay, so this is more of a, a very development environment with a debugger in Python. Uh, you know, just the first time you run it, it's gonna take just a little bit uh, to initialize things. Uh, but this is kind of a nice way if you need to do some debugging, Spider is a nice environment that comes with the Anaconda uh, packages. Uh, so it's going to create a new uh, just sample. Okay. And okay. And then if we want to run it, uh, we can run it in debug. Um, you know, with these commands the debug file, control F5, or you can hit uh, this green one, which is just run file or F5. Okay, and so I can put a break in here, uh, just double click this and then debug. And then, um, you know, go ahead and run it in this IPython. Okay. And, uh, you know, it's going to reach that point and then, um, let's see. Okay, let me try this again. I'm just going to run it. I'll stop debugging. Okay, and I'll try to do it again. Okay, so here's my IDB um, output. Um, normally it stops there and lets me um, kind of go through it. Um, but uh, let me go ahead and just copy this and see if I can run it again. Okay, do I have an error here? I'm not sure. Um, I don't think I do. Um, Okay, so yeah, it was running it um, there, but it was maybe, I'm not sure what was going on there. Um, let me see if I can exit it out of here and then just rerun it again. Okay. I'll just try it one more time. Maybe something wasn't quite initialized appropriately. Okay, so I have my debugger and Hmm, okay, so there's still something going on here um, with Spider. Um, and I'm not quite sure what it is. Okay, so there's something going on with Spider. I'll have to go back and, and just fix that. But this is the Spider environment. I showed you the IPython notebook and then also through python.org.